Hello everyone, it's 10th of September. One week ago we announced that the version 2 for the FX9 would be launched in October, but today, as you may have seen in the social media, Japan has given us a very nice surprise because they have released it. The procedure for up, uh, updating the camera is quite easy, it can be done by yourself, but there are some little tips and tricks that I want to, to share with you. Uh, you simply need to download it from the website, we will see that in, in a few moments. And uh, a little comment, uh, it's preferable that you, uh, that, that you format the SD card in the camera. Also you can at the same time update the XDCA FX9 and the camera itself. So, as, as I was telling you, the first step is to format the SD card in the camera. So that's what I'm going to, to do now. So now it's formatted in camera and now I will insert it into my laptop. Here you can see the typical structure that the camera has generated in, in, inside the SD card when formatting. And now we will go into the FX9 landing page in the resources, sorry because it's in Spanish, in the resources uh, menu you will find software and, fir and firmware and then the firmware version 2. I will download the zip version, I will accept the TNCs, download. I will drop it into my desktop and once it has ended I will show it in its own folder. Let's see if it has ended. Not yet, yeah. Now showing folder, I will unzip it. Okay, now let's see if I can find it, yes, here it is. I will pick the DAT file, copy and drop it into the root folder of the SD card. It will take a little while, but once it has ended I will pick the, uh, the SD card, insert it into the camera and run through all the the real procedure of uh, updating the, the camcorder. Okay, so now we have that, that file in the SD card. So now let's go to the camera. So I will insert the SD card in the inside of the camcorder of the FX9. And then in the maintenance menu, you will see the version submenu and version up. If it doesn't show up, maybe you have the network client mode uh, switched to on or many other parameter, but it will inform you about what that inconvenience for doing the version up. So let's run it and it will take uh, some minutes. A very important advice for the version up procedure, you need to feed the camera uh, with a very consistent uh, source. In this case, since I am using the XDCA FX9, I'm using also an ACDN10, which is connected to the AC power. It is very important that the camera is not uh, shut down during the update procedure, obviously. So let's go with it. In my case, the prior version was a, a version 2 beta and it took about 40 minutes to, to achieve the whole, the whole update. So now let's see that it has version 2. You go to maintenance version and you can see that now we are in version 2 both in the camera and in the XDCA FX9. 